guys and welcome to today's tutorial and tips on how to improve your hand lettering. Now I'll go through a few tips today. At the moment over on my professional art Instagram which is Simple Colour Beauty I am doing the 100 day challenge and my hashtag that I'm using is 100 days of lettering by Jess and that's where I'm sharing all of my progress as I'm learning new styles of lettering. Now the first tip I'm going to share with you is getting inspiration from digital fonts. Now I use a website to get a lot of my fonts and it is www.dafont.com. Now this isn't sponsored in any way, this is just what I use to get my fonts. There is so many um, different categories that you can get and there's just so many different types of awesome fonts um, and I do love a good font and you can download these. They're all free um, and then you just install them on your computer. Now open up whatever word processing thing you like. I've got pages, you can use Word, it's up to you. And what I've done today is I've just typed the alphabet in lowercase and I've also typed it up in uppercase as well. This is really good just to see the, the way that um, the designer of this font has formed the letters. Um, and then it's just about finding a font that you want to try. I really like this one, it's Magnolia Sky. Um, but if I wanted to try something else, let's go Amable. See, that's got a different look again. It really just depends what you are using your font for and what message is in the font. Now, you will find with a few of them, they won't necessarily work all that well. Um, for example, with this um, Magnolia Sky, I did have to change the before paragraph spacing options because it would chop off the top of the letters. So it's just about having a play with it um, making the spacing right so you can really see the letters. But just get inspiration, go through as many as you want. There's heaps of different types on there. Some will be all caps locks, some will be lowercase, some will be a script type. I'm really loving this one at the moment. Um, I've got a lot of inspiration from this one which is Cornea Script Demo. Um, that was from Dafont com as well um, but I just really like the simplicity of this script so that's tip number one now another thing I love to use is an app um, called word swag and this is one quote life is like a camera focus on what is important and I've just used one of their um, stock standard backgrounds and just with these same words I had to play with a few of the different layouts and it just helps you get some inspiration uh, for how you can lay out your text. So I'll go over to the app. The one that I like to use is called Words Where There is some others like um, Rona Designs, Typerama. Um, I think these ones are all paid. Typerama is free um, but you can get a paid version and I'm pretty sure when it's free um, it does have typerama down the bottom yeah so it's got the made with typerama obviously if that doesn't bother you you know and they've got all these different options down here but I'll go to wordswag once again this isn't paid in any way um, not sponsored in any way these are the backgrounds that it comes with from pixabay which are all licensed for free to use so I'm going to go this one because I like what it is and I'm just going to keep the same quote to change it all you have to do is double tap and you put in your font there is auto line which means that it will organize it how it sees fit but you can turn it off and wherever you put a break um, that's where it's going to break up and there's you know some options of quotes down here on the side I'm just going to keep custom and I'm going to go save and close now you can change the size by zooming in and out rotating it if you want 
change the color of the text you go up here there's a dropper if you want to do that um, and there's some patterns in that over here as well I'm gonna keep this one white because it's a dark background and then you go back to here and it's got all of these different options so for example if I go wet paint it's kind of got a watercolor effect you can move it around you can have it just so it takes up a bit so it takes up the whole thing and down here it's got one two three four five and then it's got some dice if you press the dice it'll change the options for you and it'll give you different layout options now I really like this because it helps helps give some inspiration to lay out ideas for text and for um, you know different lettering that you're going to do and you can just go through and there's lots of different options Just really fun to play with. It's mega addictive as well, so I will give you that heads up. I kind of like that one. I'm going to pop it up the top. Then you go done. And it will automatically save it to your camera roll. And then all you have to do is add it to Instagram, add it to whatever you like. You just have to go to your camera roll and it's sitting there ready for you to go. So that's another tip. And my lucky last tip is don't be afraid to draw some lines. All of these fonts up here that I was practicing with, um, I all had faint lines on them uh, before and then I just went over with my ink and then erased. And just for my reference for practicing, I've also put um, what digital font I used as well. So I've got that reference for me. So for the ones... For the lower case that have the body, they've got the heads and they've got the tails. You can tell I work in um, primary school because that's what we call them. Um, you will need four different evenly spaced lines. So the body sits in the middle. You've got room for the tail and room for the head. Um, this doesn't mean that it restricts you. You can still go past those if you need to and if you feel um, like that's the way you'd like to use your text. For this one, which was the uppercase, I just used three lines. Um, this just helped me guide the height and also um, the halves. If I wanted to use a half, if it was a bit below the half, for example, with the A, this sits below, and with the B and the E, they sit further up. So I was able to use these as a guide. Um, and obviously, I've just got a little note here to, my sen uh, to myself. There may be exceptions depending on the font type that you use. So you really just got to have a play and practice. Don't be afraid to do these lines because um, they really do help. And don't be afraid to have a play around. I've got this one as well. A play around with different layouts. I'm working on a logo at the moment. And I've just been just doing a few scribbles um, of how... The layout of it can be so there's four different tips to you for you and happy lettering I've got one more sneaky tip for you um, over on Instagram there is so many hashtags that you can use to help um, so even just at the moment the hundred days of lettering there's lots there's lettering um, illustration I'll just go to the hundred days of lettering this isn't mine this is just everyone's and there's so many different artists on here that create um, their own lettering. They have a play around, they share. So that's another way that you can get inspiration is from Instagram. Uh, Pinterest, another favourite of mine. Um, so just go check it out. And while you're on there, you can like um, my art pages. I'm at Simple Colour Beauty. And I am also at Art With Jess, whereas this one um, will be posted. Don't forget to go to my blog um, to have a look at all of the other different tutorials that I've got up there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a big thumbs up if you have liked this video. And until next time, thanks for watching guys. Um, and yeah, see you next time. Bye.